Today in our 2003 Infiniti G35, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt Trailer Hitch Receiver Class 1, part number C11482. Here's what it looks like once it's installed. You can see it's going to tuck up nicely against the bottom part of our fascia. It's going to be a Class 1 receiver, which is inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. So it's going to be for light duty towing and all of your Class 1 accessories. It's got a nice ring style safety chain loop. It's designed for 200 pounds of tongue weight, which is the amount of our downward force, and 2,000 pounds of gross trailer weight, which is the amount of your loaded trailer. Now you want to check with your owner's manual or your manufacturer to make sure your vehicle is able to tow that amount of weight and always go with the less of the two amounts. It's going to have a nice black powder coated finish. It's going to utilize two holes that are already in our trunk and you're going to have to drill two holes into the bumper support. And then you'll just fish in a couple of bolts. It's a very quick installation. If you're going to be using this hitch for a non-trailered load such as a cargo carrier or a bike rack, stabilization straps are strongly recommended. It also comes with a pin and clip, as well as a full set of instructions. We're going to give you some measurements. It's going to help you in picking out accessories such as a cargo carrier or a bike rack. From the center of the hitch pinhole to the outermost part of the bumper, it's going to be about four inches. And from the ground to the inside of the top of the receiver tube, it's going to be about 11 inches. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install it. To begin our install, we're going to have to go in through the trunk we're going to take out the floor liner, we'll take it and set it aside. And we're going to need to gain access to the spare tire. We'll take off the rest of the covers here. And we're going to need to remove the spare tire as well. Now we're going to need to remove these two rubber plugs here. And in place of that, we're going to put a block with a half inch carriage bolt down through each of the holes. We're not going to be reinstalling these, so we're going to give them back to our customer. We'll just drop our blocks down. Now we can go to the bottom side and we'll prepare to mount the hitch from the bottom side. We're also going to need to trim up the bottom side of our bumper fascia. Now I've gone ahead and marked the center. And I've come back the amount listed in our instructions. And our instructions is going to tell you to cut out a smaller hole but in order to access the bolts where you have to drill through, I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge it just a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. So we'll go ahead and take a straight edge and we can mark this out. We're gonna go ahead and cut that section out. Now we're gonna use a razor knife, but you can use a pair of tin snips, some shears, or you can use a rotary tool. So go ahead, we're just gonna make a couple of marks. It's gonna cut pretty easy. We're also going to need to remove this plastic push pin here. Let's pry out on the center with our screwdriver. We'll take that pin out and it's going to let us have a little bit of stretch on our bumper. But we're going to have to drill a couple of holes in the bottom side here once we set our hitch up into place and mark out at the location. We can take our hitch, we're going to place it up into position. Then we're going to attach it with our two bolts at the back here that we dropped in from the floor and we're going to temporarily secure those. We're using a 19 millimeter or a 3 quarter inch socket. We're going to make sure that we have it nice and centered in the center of our bumper. Then we can go ahead and mark out the holes and we're going to drill them out. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and take your half inch drill bit that we're going to need to make the hole that size for and just mark out the center, that way we're going to know it's going to be dead center on our bumper. Once you have them marked, we can go ahead and drop down our hitch and we'll continue drilling out the holes. Now we're going to go ahead and make a couple of small holes and then we can enlarge them up to the half inch that we're going to need at the end. Why don't we make sure you have a good pair of safety glasses on because the shavings are going to come down and they're going to be really hot. Now it's not going to take much to drill this because it is aluminum. Now we're going to take our bolt leader. You want to make sure it's going to actually reach to the end of the bumper. If it doesn't, you can always just take another piece of wire, twist them together just to get a little bit of length. 
So we'll feed that bolt leader. And we're gonna go ahead and drop down this panel just so you can see exactly where we'll be working at here. Now we have our fish wire out of there. We're gonna take our block with our 716 carriage bolt. We'll slide on the block. We're gonna go ahead and feed them up to the bumper. We'll get it down into place. Make sure it's seated squarely in the block. And we'll repeat the same process for the other side. And you wanna make sure you go through the passenger side, it's gonna give you a little bit more room. Now we'll be ready to hang our hitch back up into place. You want to carefully slide it up over our bolts as to not push them up inside the body. We can take our 7 16 flange nut. Now that we have our 7 16 nut started, we can move to the rear and install our half inch hardware. Now we want to make sure we're still centered up with that mark we had earlier. And we're gonna take an 11 16 socket and we'll start tightening down the two rear bolts first. And we can take our three quarter or our 19 millimeter and we'll run down the two forward most bolts. Now we can go ahead and torque them down to the specifications in our instructions. We'll be doing the 7 16 bolts first, followed by our half inch. Once we have them all torqued down, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the panel we removed on the passenger side here. And we'll reinstall this push pin as well. Now our last step on the inside of the trunk here is we're going to put a little bit of silicone around everything to seal out any gas, exhaust gas or water that might get up inside the vehicle. Now if you don't have any silicone, you can go ahead and pick it up on our website, part number LT37467. We're just going to put a nice generous bead all the way around the outside. And we'll go around the top of the bolt as well. We'll do that for both sides. We'll let that dry for a little bit and then we can put our tire and all of our carpets back in. And that's gonna do it for our look at and install of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver Class 1, part number C11482 on our 2003 Infiniti G35. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.